Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Leaf Green, my mono grass run. It's time to go pick up Flash. Then we'll make our way to the entrance to the Rocky Tunnel, because that's probably going to take a while, let's face it. We're going to have to go through a couple trainers in the process, and we got to cover a lot of ground. Plus, I'm going to pick up the bicycle and make our way back to Cerulean City. And yes, I did evolve Mr. Bell. I still have to work on leveling up Parasect, though. Well, Parasite, because it's still a Paris, it's not a Parasect yet. Probably something to work towards, I suppose. Downside is Mr. Pell's really slow, so these Diglets usually get the better of it. Um, at least by enough to matter. <sighs> and I'm starting to reach the limit, I guess, what I can level up quickly from. <sighs> Paris doesn't do too bad here, though. As long as they're using, you know, magnitude and dig and stuff, but not all your enemies are going to do that. They might use scratch and just bypass um Paris's resistances. Um it may work out better if I give it something like Giga Drain. Though that mean being Erica than coming back here. Um which will take a while. No denying that. It's a few episodes away before we do that one. <sighs> Uh, another Diglett. Can I outspeed this one at least? No. Uh, darn it. Suppose I technically try running away, but why bother? I can definitely win this in one Vine Whip. And it's down. Maybe I'll look into buying some repels at some point. Assuming they're even available now. Um, I'd have to double check the local stores and see. And I did manage to get a copy of Hidden Power from, um, Meow's pickup ability, actually. I probably won't use it, though. I can't imagine being that helpful. And so, you know, what power I get is going to be completely random, and I have no way of knowing until I'm, like, level 50 or more reliably at, like, 100. So yeah, not really worth it. Though I may want to use up a potion on myself here. That way I don't have to make use of everyone's favorite um, Ivy Sword at the moment. Let Gardenia sit on the bench while someone else gets a few levels, you know? Okay, we're almost there. Let's just get this tree out of the way. Come on, Sea Flash. Cut down the tree for me. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, I know you're one of his aides. You're wearing the right shirt. Obviously, that means you're a professor aide. Because you're wearing a lab coat. I know, aren't I amazing? 11 Pokemon data out of 151. Of course, this, since this is Gen 3, technically, it's more than that, but we're only going to talk about the original um, set for the moment. <sighs> okay, let's cut it. And let's see, bag. Um, we're going to pull up the TM case. I might as well learn it now. Guess I'm pretty sure I can throw this on you. Yep. Yeah, it should. I'm not going to give it to some Pokemon that can barely make use out of it. Screw that noise. Hmm. I wonder how much time I have to spend on grinding to get some useful TMs when I get to sell it on. Actually, I don't even know if there's any um, TMs I can really buy for this team. I mean, for the water team, I could pick up Ice Beam for a couple people and stuff like that, but... For this team, I'm not sure there is anything I can really give them. I'd have to double check what's available. Ah, I'm making use of a useless move like Brawl, eh? Hmm. The sad part is I think I've only seen one Doug Trio in my entire time out here. Um, I prefer seeing them, after all. They're worth a lot more experience than the little Diglets. <sighs> but I suppose it is what it is. Plus, I don't even think I could take down, um, Doug Trio with Mr. Bell anyway. 
Well, that was a meaningless gesture. Time to whip you into submission, Diglett. Too bad I don't learn Razor Leaf until like level 40 something, though. Yeah, I'm dependent on a move that's not even that good. I suppose I could technically give myself Giga Drain, but I only get one copy of that move, I'm pretty sure, so. Maybe sort of iffy giving it to, you know, Mr. Bell here. Though he does have growth, so you can actually empower the technique, but even then, I don't know if I really like that idea. <sighs> Plus, moves like that usually don't work very effectively against, you know, rock and water Pokemon anyway. Targets that are vulnerable to being drained of their health, which are far and in between, usually. Well, at least he can't dig. <sighs> Darn it. I'm running out of fine whips. <sighs> if only that move didn't have such a low power point count. <sighs> well, no. We're almost there. I had to stop at a Pokemon Center on the way back. Level 22, eh? Called it. Well, assuming I don't die, hopefully my Vine Whip can now just knock it out. 15. Okay. And a fatal counter attack. So far, so I get in another fight. Mr. Bell's not going to be much help. Whew, got lucky there. I didn't think that fight would be so draining on my power points, man. <sighs> I guess it's more a series of fights, but still. It's like everyone wants to beat me up. Even the wild Pokemon. For no reason. I know, they're just feeding me experience, but still. Gets a bit tedious after a while. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. Just ignore you and I'll hug the wall in order to bypass everyone else. Since I still haven't fought that one guy with his um, bug Pokemon over there. Yeah, just let me go away, you know? I don't want to have to waste fine whips on me out, you know? I don't think I can really check for items and run at the same time, but, you know, I'll try anyway. Okay. Definitely going to stop by the... Cerulean really City, I'll pick up the bike. I mean, I prefer using the first Seeker and running, but every now and again, it's nice to have the bicycle. Plus, we'll need it to use the fast path to Fuchsia City. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back at some point, I'm sure. Come on, just cut you down again. Eh, I'll come back tomorrow in my own time. Check it for repels, you know? If it worst comes to worst, I'll head back over to Vermilion Sea, because my best spot to grind is probably going to be against the Diglett still. I'll be I still have, um... Next thoughts on that. Well, at least that's a useful item. Keep you up. I have mixed thoughts about it, because a lot of the Diglets have Arena Trap, or whatever it's called, so you can't actually flee from battles with them, nor do a switch out, so they're hard to grind against if you want to do that. Ah, great. Um... That'll help, I suppose. Problem is, taking down this freaking Hush is going to be difficult, because it's going to absorb most of my attacks. Oh wait, I got acid. Of course, it's gonna resist that too. 
Oh wait, it's poison and grass, so it's vulnerable and has a resistance, so it's gonna be neutral damage. Eh, that's fine. I'll take neutral. Yeah, I made sure to level to evolve at level 23 just to pick up acid first, because I fear that'd be to my advantage. Um, yeah. I'll let Parasite out for a little bit. Obviously, I'm not going to leave it out there. I'm not that crazy. I don't think it's possible for um my little Parasite to win against that Bellsprout. Even with the ability to seriously resist Divine Whip. After all, it still has growth, so it can power itself up and just bypass my resistances a bit. Uh, may have been my best instrument to use sleep powder, but whatever. Oh, double growth? Weird. I figured we'd put on the attack after the first one. Well, whatever. Ugh. I'm trying to put off yawning there. Uh, I don't want to do any more switch ins, really. It slows down the process quite a bit. And I'd like to get to the cave as quickly as possible. Though it might behoove me to actually put Ash to sleep, considering I know it uses nothing but status boost, basically. Um, I might be able to resist poison in this gen, I'm not sure. Being a poison type myself, I may be immune to it. I think that was a thing later on, but I can't remember if that started in Gen 3 or if you have to go to Gen 4 or higher for that. Oh, that was a pretty weak bell sprout. Okay. Deceived you? How did I deceive you? I don't remember making any claims about my abilities. Rat, he saw me. Well, at this point, I might as well go back for that iron ball then. <sighs> okay, my shop, eh? Well then, let's throw some sleep powder on you. Now we can have some sweet dreams, my shop. Well, I, I do a growth or two, you know, and power up my vine wit. That way I can bring the pain in all its glory. That's right, you keep dreaming. It's gonna end in a nightmare, though. <laughs> well, two's enough, probably. Heck, it may have been excessive, for all I know. I really don't care, though. Oh, Onyx? It's boned. I just would have been able to take Vine Whip under normal circumstances. Powered up. It's just really dead. And I critical on top of that. Ouch. <sighs> well, that takes care of you. Yeah, well, you thought you had more than two? Ah, yes, Aerial Ace. A team that's definitely going to help out a team comp comprised of grass types, right? <sighs> ah, great. A bug catcher. Super bug Pokemon, eh? Well... That might apply to your Beedrill, maybe. Assuming you have a Beedrill. I think one of them out here has something like that. Uh, take my acid attack, Caterpie. Oh, a Venet? Well, I guess we'll bring out Gardenia. <sighs> if I had some way to lower stats, I might be willing to try Parasite out here, but I don't. Sleep Powder. Ah, it missed. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I know, it's super effective. 
Albeit it's not effective enough to scare me off, but still. It's the principle of the thing at this point. Ugh. Now I'm gonna cover you in seeds. Get back some of my lost HP, you jerk. <sighs> like, yes, yeah, that'll be plus like seven or so. Six. My mistake. Ugh. Well, at least I'll get back up to full health. And who knows, if it sleeps long enough, Leech Seed might just finish it off. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bleed off enough. I'm gonna have to do a tackle again. Or a Razor Leaf. Either or, they're both about as accurate. But I'll stick with tackle. I don't need to be told that resists. You know, my razor leaf. Just eats up time. Oh, whatever. I'll leave Gardania out there. Just hit with a tackle and let's just basically move on with our day. Oh, it actually took it? Tarn you, Ivysaur. I was hoping you'd knock it out. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, yeah, you're bugs. I don't care. Oh, good. It doesn't bug you for that stuff. Good. And with the aid of our good friend Sea Flash, we can just cut this down and get right into the rock tunnel. We don't have to worry about anyone trying to stop us. Well, next time I'll be going through the dark cave here in order to reach Lavender Town. Until then, see ya.